Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout that I completed at that crop that I went to a few weeks ago. I got 22 layouts done and I managed to record every single one of them. So I'll be uh, uploading a page, you know, every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. Which reminds me, <laughs> on Monday, my video was there and everything and that afternoon I went which I thought I had hit public and save but obviously it didn't save anyway the next day I was like hmm you know that's odd because I I always you know get comments and uh, messages when I release a new video and there was nothing and I thought hmm, I better go check and there it was just sitting there still un you know unpublished so um like i said i it was already i just um obviously dropped the ball there when it came time to upload it but anyway so this video should go up today on wednesday but uh this is a picture of our table at crop and create and I just wanted to document that. So this page is just going to be called Crop and Create 2017. And then I'm going to do another, and I just talk about how we step the hotel when we go there, even though it's in the same town as where we live. It just makes it like a little mini staycation for us. So me and my friend Ev, we just stay at the hotel and it just makes it so much fun. So that's what I'm going to talk about on this layout. And then the next one, I want to talk about my table mates. And, and I'm going to use a similar picture. We took quite a few of them in front of the beautiful display that they got uh, up so that you can go take pictures. But this one is just going to be called Crop and Create 2017. So the first thing I did is I mounted my photo on some light blue cardstock, as you saw right in the middle. Then I wanted to mount or mat this piece of pattern paper because it was quite light up against that other pattern, pa pattern paper. And what I did was I just put it over top of the hole. <laughs> so I was able to use that cardstock twice. And I like doing that. I like to sort of maximize uh, my supplies. And in this way, I was able to use that cardstock twice. Another thing that I like to do, especially when I go to crops like that, I have some go-to layouts that, you know, without thinking too, too much, I can get some layouts done and by using different pattern papers, different embellishments, the layouts totally look different, but they're just, you know, some go-to layouts that I like to do. So one of the things I like to do is I like to vary the sizes of some squares varying the size of my squares so the first one is i just took a six by six pattern paper that was there with the pattern paper kit and then i mat matted it with that light blue cardstock again because i found that it didn't um it blended in too much against that other pattern paper which was still kind of light because it has kind of a white background and then a little bit of uh, blue flowers so then the next layer is about seven by seven. And then the next layer after that is about a nine by nine square. And then if you look at my whole background paper, then that is also a square and it's 12 by 12. And then I just, um, sometimes I'll tilt my squares and then sometimes I'll put them straight on. In this case, I'm gonna put them straight on. So just by, you know, sometimes tilting the squares or putting them straight on, it just makes it so that, you know, you're using the same type of layout, but by just switching it up a little bit, by adding, in this case, I'm gonna add um, a border sticker at the bottom of some of the squares and that's gonna change it up a bit. So just by changing it up a little bit, you know, you can get a ton of layouts done, especially at a crop like that when you're trying to get, you know, as many layouts as you can possibly fit in in a weekend. <laughs> and then just varying your embellishments really change it up. So one of the embellishment that I had put with this page kit was this huge typewriter. And I found it was the perfect place to put 
my title. So that's where I'm going to put Crop and Create 2017. And on the same sticker sheet as that typewriter, it had a little alpha set, which I ended up using it for my title. It didn't have any numbers, so then I just went to my stash and grabbed my Doodlebug Teensy Type Letters, and I ended up, you know, doing the year with that. And then uh, I knew I wanted something to do my journaling, so I just grabbed a grid pattern paper. And that was one of the things I believe that I didn't show that I grabbed. I think that was sort of the last minute. I'm like, oh, last time I went there, you know, to a crop, I didn't have any kind of line paper or grid paper, and I really missed it for my journaling. So just before I left, I grabbed maybe six sheets of different colors of grid paper and line papers and just threw it in with, you know, my, um, my kits. And then that way, when I needed some line paper or grid paper, if I didn't feel like using a Project Life grid 3x4 card or 4x6 card, then you know, I just grabbed one of those uh, sheets of 12 by 12. I'm going to end up inking the edges of all the pattern papers using the Evergreen Bow from Arranger. It's a distress ink. And then I'm going to start gluing everything down. So while I'm gluing that stuff down and adding a little bit of embellishments, I'm just going to chat here for a little bit. I'm just interested to know. I started my December daily. Today's December 6th. I've been pretty good at taking pictures every day. Not a ton, but enough to um, make a page, one page per day, which I'll, I'll be sharing with you. And I even varied the size of my album this year. And my videos for that should be starting to go up tomorrow. And um, I'll either put them on the off days. What I mean by that is usually I upload videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'll either put some on the off days or, you know, I'll put some, if it's a page, then I'll replace it with a Friday page just so that, um, you know, I end up with tons of uh, videos that I can upload, you know, for the rest of the month because I am working on so many different things right now that I'm actually not, you know, getting some pages, pages done or YouTube videos so that I have something to upload for January. So if I can disperse it throughout the month of December, then that's going to help me out um, with being able to upload videos, you know, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. But I'll upload some videos on Thursday because I think I'm going to have probably quite a few vi videos for December daily because right there I haven't decided yet if I'm just going to do 25 days or if I'm going to do the whole 31 days. The couple of years that I did do it for 31 days I found after Christmas it's like okay well I really don't know what to document anymore. So I guess my question to you is do you document, for those of you that um, do December daily or document December or whatever, you know, you may call it, do you just do it for 25 days or do you do it for the full 31 days? You know, what, um, what do you do or if, do, you know, do you uh, do it at all? Um, last year, I didn't get one done and... I felt really sad um, and I didn't take any pictures. I just wasn't, I guess, in a spot <laughs> in my life where I even wanted to take pictures daily. And it's kind of sad because it was our first year in our house, but I think we were just so overwhelmed with just the unpacking and everything that it was just a bit much. And we didn't, we didn't do a lot of the stuff that we do when um, around Christmas time, like you know, making our pizza rolls and making our meat pies and making cookies. I didn't do any of that last year. I think I was just too busy unpacking. And talking about making pizza roll yesterday, uh, we started at 1.30 in the afternoon and we finished at 8 o'clock last night. We made 200 pizza rolls, which, you know, I'll talk about it um, in my December daily. But um, 
So yeah, I'm feeling a little exhausted today. I was going to make some cookies today, but I think I'm... all well, depends how I feel this afternoon, but... Um, so yeah, so that those are done. And um, so this weekend, I think we are going to make our meat pies. Because usually we don't do that kind of stuff during the week. But Caitlin, who is now living at home, she was off during the week yesterday. So she was able to help me. So she helped me make sort of the base. And then once uh, we started making them, and then once my husband came home, then production just like kind of, you know, booted it up a notch and we got them done in no time at all. But um, so that was fun. Got a whole bunch of that done. So it's nice to be, you know, to be getting into sort of the, our traditional stuff this year. So what are some of your traditional stuff that you do for, you know, your December month? Um, obvious, you know, obviously, you know, decorating the tree, which by the way, we haven't done yet. Um, hopefully we can pick up, we can get the tree tonight or tomorrow night and then uh, Friday night, get our tree done. And then, um, you know, we like to make some cookies and some pizza rolls, some meat pies. I'd like to maybe start, you know, do a few new recipes this year. So I'm looking forward to, you know, because I'm home quite a bit more this year. So the only days that I'm working in December, I work December 1st, but now the only days that I'm working in December is December 17th, 18th, and 19th, which I plan to get all of my stuff done before I go and do my three days so that, um, because once I'm done, I mean, I'm going to be done the 20th in the morning. It's kind of late to be doing that kind of stuff that close to Christmas. So I'm hoping to have everything done by the 17th, maybe even our Christmas wrapping. I'm hoping because we're, we haven't even started yet. It's not sad. I think I have two things and it's because my daughter, um, I got stuff from where she works. So she grabbed it for me <laughs> and that's the only thing we got done, but it'll get done. It always gets done, right? And I really don't want to get, you know, overwhelmed or stressed. Or it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be fun and, and, um, and it, you were supposed to enjoy this time of year. So that's my focus this year is I want to make sure that I'm going to enjoy everything. So anyway, so just be watching for that. I'm going to be, because uh, I had a few people ask me if I was going to do December daily this year. Yes, I'm not going to be uploading a video every day. I'm going to condense them, you know, two, three days in one video and that kind of stuff. But I did, I've already done my video of the stuff that I plan on using in my album. So I'll, I'll probably upload that tomorrow, which tomorrow is December 7th. So anyway, just let me know what you guys are up to. I would love to know. And um, so anyway, back to this layout, I used uh, a frame. It was a sticker that I cut in half and then I'm, I'm using that as my embellishment foundation. I put it in behind the typewriter and in behind the top right cluster. I'm using a few little labels. I use some twines. Uh, I'm gonna put that at each of the embellishment cluster. Like I said, I put my title in my little typewriter and I'm adding some enamel dots. And just a reminder, from here till December 12th, I have a two for one class. Um, so it's two classes for the price of one. It's for the love of the collection where we take a collection and we add our stuff from our stash to make a kit and then we do 16 pages the second class is using your scraps so we go into our stash and really use what we have just bits and pieces of scraps and make 15 layouts and also i'm having a customer appreciation sale also till December 12th and I'm putting all my classes that I've done in the past at 50% off just as a huge thank you for all your support. So that's going on till December 12th. So check that out. The link is always in the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, I upload videos every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and sometimes on Saturdays. 
and if you're enjoying these videos if you wouldn't mind give me a thumbs up and also at the end of this video there will be some pictures of all the close-ups of all the embellishment clusters and I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and like I said don't stress too much take time to scrap and relax and I hope you enjoyed this page and I want to thank you so much for watching bye